So uh, I just bought this uh, Apex Summit Pro binoculars. It's got the reticle in it. And I must say, this glass is pretty impressive for its price. Um, it's a 12 by 56, I believe, or 12 by 50. Let's see if I can show you guys a picture of the reticle. And here's the reticle on the left side, on the left barrel of the binoculars. I think it's cool. This is something that shooters have been wanting, it's a reticle in their binoculars and Apex stepped up. So this won't be an unboxing video. I've already unboxed it pretty much, um, but I'm just super impressed with this uh, binoculars. I was able to use it at a uh, Santa Fire match this weekend in Navasota and just looking through it for the past few days. And I can say I'm very pleased. I've had uh, many binoculars and this one has been the best I've had. Granted though, I've never had any, own any Swaros or any high end, uh, binoculars like that but as far as somebody that doesn't want to spend that much money on binoculars and for the price this thing is probably the best binoculars I've ever uh, looked through and it has Japanese glass and not only that it has a reticle and dedicated for PRS so that's what really got my attention plus the glass it's a Japanese glass um, many of you guys know that the top two glass makers in the world are Japanese glass and German glass and this has a Japanese glass so you can look you can look at their website as far as like the coating that they do and all that we're not gonna go into that but uh, I'm just gonna do pretty much just uh, my impressions so far of these binoculars so it's it feels very sturdy and the focus is very smooth. This is one of the things I notice about this. It's very smooth. Um, it comes with uh, the straps for the little harness, the holder. And these things are actually pretty nice and hip looking. <laughs> it's got a magnet, so it's just easily uh, goes in there. And you could use it for, uh, for like NRL Hunter matches if you wanted to um, and carry it on your chest. But this thing is for the price, I'm super impressed with just what they included. It has, and uh, I got this for another. It, this was another sixty dollars. This is the um, this is the tripod adapter that hooks onto your arc rail. So you pretty much have this thing that you screw onto the binoculars to be able to use the adapter. So this one is from the match this weekend. Um, it's not the best picture of the reticle. I just wanted to show you guys what the reticle looks like with a target in the back. Uh, the camera is not focused on the reticle. But this one is focused on the reticle. So this is kind of a more realistic view of what it looks like when the reticle is focused. Of course, when you're looking at it in real life, um, the reticle and the background will be focused, but the camera has limitations. So this is what the reticle looks like, um, or the just a breakdown of it. So you can see the big hash marks are full mils, and um, the numbers are from two, four, six, eight, ten, up to twelve mils. And if you zoom in, if you look at their website, you'll be able to see how wide A, B, and C is. But pretty much A is uh, 0.3 mils wide, so about an MOA wide, and then B is 0.5 mils, a little bit under 2 MOA. C is uh, 0.8 mils. So you can even use the width of A, B, or C to measure your targets. So uh, one of the things that really impressed me with these binoculars was uh, I was spotting for somebody. I was looking at a target 
and it was all grayed out, the paint was gone, and I was still able to tell where they impacted. And that's something that a lot of PRI shooters, if you know where the bullet impacted, you're able to uh, have a more accurate wind call. And that was really cool just to be able to see that. I was very impressed with the quality of the glass on uh, these binoculars. And not only that, I, I, could, uh, I could see just enough mirage so that I know where the wind is coming from. Like, of course, you don't want it to be too miragey uh, with these binoculars, but like you want it, you want to see just enough mirage so that you know uh, if the wind is coming from the right or the left. And um, I would say that these binoculars, you can see the targets uh, really well and you can see the, just enough mirage to be able to read wind. Because of the reticle, I was able to mail my targets and find out my wind budget and if you guys don't know what that means, it basically just means that you can measure how wide your target is so that you know how much wind you can work with on your target. I have a video on how to do wind strategy and bracketing wind and all that um, if you want to take a look at that. But anyways, to be able to mail your target before stage and work on your wind strategy before you go up there and shoot is a big advantage and these binoculars uh, with the reticle in it, it's long overdue for PRS and I'm glad somebody stepped up. Thank you Apex Optics for stepping up and making these binoculars for uh, for us shooters and listening. I encourage you guys, if you don't want to spend that much money on Swaro or you want or you want a reticle in your binoculars, these are probably the best that you can get.